In this video, we are going to see what are the different qualities, attributes, or you can say things that I look into a QA tester while hiring as their QA lead. If you are new to this channel, if you don't know, hi, my name is Pramod and welcome to the Testing Academy. I've been into Q position of QA lead for more than I think three, four, five years. I have total experience of eight plus years of experience. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the different things that you should take care in your resume as well as the your attributes as a QA, senior QA, right? Uh, so whenever I'm hiring or what are the different things that qualities that I look forward whenever I, I am hiring you as a, in our company, right? So what are the different things that you should take care of it? So definitely this will help you a lot. So let's jump into the video and let's see what are different attributes, qualities or things that you should have. All right. So, all right. So let's jump into the mind map, which is my favorite tool, right? All right. So uh, first of all, let me talk about the very interesting problem, which is so many resume problems. So what happens is that means uh, I've been into, as I've told you, right, I have taken more than 200 plus interviews, right? And the problem is uh, we got lots of resumes sometimes. So sometimes HRs uh, in my previous two previous organization, HR used to share the resumes also with us, right? So what exactly the problem is we got so many resumes and we have very, very less time to uh, basically find the correct uh, match whatever the job description or the opening that we have right so uh, my point is have a unique resume uh, by unique it basically means uh, you have you can uh, add or uh, whatever the things that you have done uh, right you have to uh, basically show them in highlighted way right make sure it's short don't create any kind of a resume or cv more than one page trust me uh, if we go, if we got like two or three pages of resume, we generally HRs only, uh, they would just uh, throw it away and they don't use it, right? So make sure you have only one page resume and only the top things, only the decent thing, only the best thing that you have done, you have highlighted it. And make sure, uh, one of the point that I want to give you right now, so note it down guys, uh, whatever the best thing right now you are doing, uh, you have to mention it. For example, let me show you, like, uh, let me uh, tell you, for example, right now, uh, for example, you can mention that in my current organization, I have implemented Docker-based uh, Selenium Grid, which has reduced the effort or uh, which has basically helped in CI-CD pipeline. Now, the front-end builds can go uh, daily or by, uh, I mean, like two times or three times due to, uh, due to the, uh, CI CD or you can say Docker based container that I have implemented. So you can mention every anything like this, or you can mention certain kind of other things which want to talk about in the uh, below, right? So keyword based basically means uh, keyword based keyword based basically means you have to mention these keywords, right? Uh, whenever we are hiring, for example, it's a position with four plus years or three plus years of uh, as a automation tester suppose so you have to mention that okay i know selenium i know api testing if you know it and what are the tools and what is the language this is probably the first thing that i look into is the what is the language that you are working for example if we have an opening for java or python based uh, if you are someone who is basically more comfortable in c sharp definitely if you have mentioned c sharp as your first language probably uh, we'll just uh, not include you in the resume filtering okay so make sure uh, whatever the job description is there you have to match it don't copy paste it i would say have a, at least a very very matching way all right so uh the problem is i'm going to talk talk to you about we generally skim the interview what exactly it is promote it basically means we just look for the resume for more less than i think seven seconds i'm going to show you one important uh thing which is basically if you see this uh, uh uh, article which is by HR Drive. It basically say that uh, generally any any kind of a recruiter, right? They see your resume for less than seven seconds, right? So this is the point I'm telling you. So if you are looking, if I'm looking into your resume, I probably look for like four or five seconds. And what I look, trust me, these are the important thing, which is basically what you are working currently, where you are working currently. What are the technology stacks? You have to mention like Selenium, API testing. I'm working on. I have worked with Postman, GitHub. CICD like Docker, Selenium, or if you are manual tester, just mention that I have created Intel. I have created test plan, designs, test cases, right? Help my team from uh, creating uh, thousand cases to five thousand cases. I have increased test coverage, whatever the things like keyword based things that we have to mention, right? No heavy paragraph, please, guys, don't include any kind of heavy paragraph. I have seen people they have just mentioned their project, full project in the resume. Trust me, nobody reads it. Uh, because we are looking into, into more than less than seven seconds we are more interested into 
the your technology stacks your tools and language most of the time that's my personal point of view right so this is my personal view guys guys uh, so that's what i'm discussing right i hope you are like, learning something new right searching what i want so this is exactly uh, what we do is that we whenever we are looking into your resume right for example or even i am taking your personal one to one right so what i am actually interested in what companies that you have worked on in the past right what are the languages different uh, programming languages that you have worked on and the keywords again right so keyword basically means uh, okay if someone says i have worked with postman it basically means uh, because we have a requirement uh, sometimes we work with postman they should know these things right if someone is saying that i have worked with as a short that's pretty cool right so that's what i am looking for so you have to mention these keyword that i hey guys i have created my framework i have done it if, so let me give you another tip if you haven't done these kind of Stuff. for example if you haven't worked with rest assured right and job description mentioned that you have uh, you have to have certain experience in rest assured what i would recommend is that uh, on weekend probably on the next weekend or somewhere right just create uh, just learn uh, rest assured uh, probably in 2 2 3 days if you are someone who is comfortable in programming language trust me you will get the initial uh, kick off of rest assured and create a framework around it for example take some crud operations in api testing and automate it using rest assured right so it will take around 2 3 weeks if you are new to the channel uh, i have created a 30 days of uh, rest assured challenge you can take that uh, probably take that in 2 3 days uh, if you are someone very interested right and add it to your resume right so that will that will be helpful right so that's what i am talking about uh, again big big name big games basically means that if you have worked with some big companies and help them to achieve certain task make sure you mention them highlight them right so that's what it's all about uh so whenever you are taught, uh, for example let's let's see for example if you are giving any kind of interview in front of me right and uh, touch me what i have seen is that problem is uh, sometimes people are dull so let me tell you like how they actually uh, give the interview uh, intro right uh, hi my name is uh, xyz and uh, i am working with this agile and uh, this is the thing that i have worked on uh, that's my hobby so my point is it's very dull the first point is very dull so what you have to do is you have to tell them what exactly excites you right and there is no bs it basically don't uh, don't add any bs just make sure to the point let me give you very simple way for example you can tell them okay hey hey guys i am working as a qa lead in the browser stack and i have been working uh, with the browser for like 2 3 years and i have basically helped them to achieve uh, their uh, help them to add their automation stack reduce their automation effort i have helped them in automation coverage right i am very much interested in automation i have this my youtube channel i really passionate about this and uh, totally love uh, totally love the automation things i used to write on scrolldesk.com i have a youtube channel that have more than 20000 subscribers so these are the things that you can talk about and have a little voice in you right don't be a uh, dull have a little excitement so you can use your hand gestures right in this thing right for example hey hey uh, hey pramod uh, my name is this is this and i want to talk about this is so as uh, these kind of stuff so you have to use your full face and hands and all on the things right so make sure you pay attention and intro trust me uh, if you are dull in your interview uh, uh, in your intro you will lose nearly around 60% of the battle right so make sure you do that right again uh four principles uh, these are the important principle that i have think uh i think which are more important which is basically tell them about what excite you about creativity informality trustworthy and focal right uh, it basically means what are the different creative methods that you have done probably in the past you are working in certain uh, certain things as a manual thing and you have probably converted them into automation by using scripts you can mention them informative tell them the news things that you are are right now working on trustworthy tell them that i have helped like big companies for example like in you can mention that okay i have worked with browse track i have worked with wingify which are big companies having millions of requests going on right uh, i have been there i have been working there lots of projects so you can trustworthy focus what is your focus right why what you want to do so that you can mention in the in uh, resume as well as whenever you are talking about this right number look interesting this is uh, my last part which basically add number so i have given you some example for example increase the test coverage by 10% in my last company uh, for the automation test coverage uh, these are examples not exactly the words i right? responsible for maintaining 500 plus ui plus api test cases daily uh, maintaining it executing it right these kind of stuff you can mention that so these 
are trust me the more uh, some of the point that i would like to give you and trust me they will help you a lot if you are someone if you know if you want to know or if you want to know more about this uh, i can create a second part of it let me know in the comment if you want any second part around it uh, i can give you more depth how what exactly that i look forward and how you can be better at presenting your intro as a qa so that your lead or anyone who is taking your interview will hire you immediately right and uh, what are the different thing that we look forward in the uh, resume right thanks a lot for watching this video i hope you have learned something new and thanks a lot for watching uh, this video uh, welcome to the testing academy if you are new to someone if you are new to, new to the channel make sure you subscribe right now so that uh, Uh, it helped the algorithm right and make sure you like this video if you have learned something new from this video all right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye this is your host pramod